Today, I'm going to show you how to create handwritten text in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is gonna be really helpful. Anytime you're designing, let's say you're designing a document like a wedding invitation and you wanna make it look like it's actually got handwriting on it rather than just some font like Arial from Photoshop. We're gonna show you how to choose the right background and the right font to create that handwritten look. Then we're gonna go in Photoshop and actually write out our message and transform it to make it look like it fits inside the photo. And to finish it off, we're gonna add a blur and a layer mask to make it look like it's actually in the photo. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. In section one, we're finding our photo and getting our font. All right, so we're in Photoshop and this is the perfect type of image that we're talking about for our handwritten text. I'm on a new layer. Let's just say I grab my brush tool here and I could just draw this with my brush tool. I can say like, dear diary. Of course that looks absolutely horrible because I have got horrible handwriting, but that's kind of the idea. Using handwriting text as a way to make it look like it's actually in a picture. So in this case, we're gonna make it look like it's writing here directly on the pages of the diary, which is gonna take some transformation. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and find our font. So what I've done is gone over to dafont.com. Uh, I love this website because it offers a lot of free fonts and I've chosen the theme to be handwritten and we have all these different options for handwriting fonts that you can download for personal use. So I would recommend just finding a font that speaks to you. There are so many different fonts here. Um, we're gonna be using the Noterra font for this episode. So simply download a font, double click on that font once it's downloaded and it's going to install it on your computer, which is gonna make it available in Photoshop. So we've already done that. I've got my Noterra font. We're ready to go back into Photoshop and type out a message. So now that we've got our font chosen, let's go ahead and create the text in Photoshop. So I'm gonna click right here on my type tool to access our type tool and then we're gonna click on our image which is gonna create a new type layer. Now in order to see what I'm doing a little bit better and to get more options, I'm gonna to go to window and then down to character which opens up my character dialog and here I'm gonna choose my font. So in this case, I know that I wanna choose the Noterra font. So we can just type it in, there we go. And that is our handwriting and all the other settings should be great. So let's go ahead and type in dear diary. Okay, let's zoom in and see if that's about the size that we'd actually want it to be on our image. Let's go a little bit bigger. So let's go 50 point, there we go. And that looks pretty good. So dear diary, that's gonna serve really well as our main text. And then we're just going to do this again. I'm gonna hit T for the type tool. And this time, instead of just clicking, I'm going to create a selection. I'm gonna click and drag in about the shape of one of these pages. So this page is a vertical rectangle here. I'm gonna create a vertical rectangle right over here on my document, about the same size. It's gonna wind up being transformed, but for now, I wanna create it about the same size. So by clicking and dragging with the type tool, check this out. If I continue to type over and over again, it's gonna automatically wrap around the edges. So it's a perfect way to make sure you're only gonna type within a constrained space. Like in this case, we need it to fit on the piece of paper. So creating, creating that actual type boundary is going to be a perfect way to make sure it stays in that place. So let's go ahead and write something in our text box. All right. Today I learned Photoshop from flurn.com. What can I say? I think I'm in love. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and move our text now right down here. Now we can see if this text were like perfectly straight, photographed straight on, this would be great. But in this case, we've got our text and we need to actually have it transform around our page. So we're gonna use the transform tool to make it actually warp around our page. Now, before we transform the text, I wanna go ahead and rasterize the type layers. 
By default, they are known as vector layers, and I can't transform them to the degree that I can with a raster layer. So we're gonna go ahead and change those from a vector layer to a raster layer. So I'm gonna just shift click on the two of these layers, the Dear Diary and our text. We're gonna hit Control or Command E, which is gonna merge them together. And now you can see it's not text, it's the same thing as if you were to bring in a photo or something like that. Okay, so now it's my job to go ahead and transform this and make it look as though it's actually on the page. So we're gonna hit Control or Command T, which is gonna bring up our transform tool. I'm gonna click and rotate our text around, which looks pretty good. And now my job is to make sure that you can see all these lines need to match up with what's going on my page. So I'm gonna hold the control or the command key and I'm gonna click here on any one of these points. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. And we're going to click on any one of those points and move this around. And that's going to help our actual text look as though it's written inside of the diary. So we're gonna click on this and move that down we're gonna click here and move that down as well. So you can see I'm actually trying to follow the lines that are inside, there we go, that are inside of the document. All right, that looks pretty great, except for there's no curvature in the text. So now that I've got it fit exactly how I want as far as scale goes and as far as perspective goes, I'm gonna right click, we're gonna go down here to warp. And now here in the warp dialog, I can click on any of these corners and drag them down, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna click and drag them down and it's going to actually warp my text, making it look as though it's curving around the page. All right, let's hit that checkbox and then take a look at the before and the after. So here's the before, looks like it would be totally, you know, <laughs> completely 2D and here's the after. It actually looks like it's written on the page, including the curve. So in this section, we showed you how to create a text box to limit text to a certain size. And then we went ahead and rasterized that text and transformed it, including warping it to make it look like it's actually on the page. Next, we're gonna add a blur and a layer mask to the text to make it look realistic. It's time to make our text look realistic. Let's go ahead and add a blur and a layer mask to it. So we're gonna click on our text here and I'm gonna go up to filter. We're gonna go to blur and I'm gonna go to Gaussian blur. Now this is just gonna allow us, you can see the actual image itself is not perfectly sharp. So if I have perfectly sharp text, it looks too good, right? Especially down here where we can see we actually have a, a out of focus part of our image. So what I'm gonna do is just increase my radius just until it does give a little bit more of that blur and it's going to help it make it look a lot more realistic. It'll make the letters look as though they're bleeding out of the text a little bit. All right, there we go. So let's hit okay. I'm gonna hit the before and the after there. So that's our text. Now I wanna go ahead and put a layer mask on here. So we're gonna click on our layer mask button and I'm gonna paint black with a very large soft edge brush. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make some of these areas less visible. like. For instance, here we might have a little bit of gloss on our page. The key here is a little bit of randomness. So I'm going here with a large brush right now and kind of painting black and white to give it a little bit more randomness. There we go. You can see there before and the after there. It's just giving it a little bit more of uh, the handwritten variety. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in here with a smaller brush and I'm gonna take my opacity down to 50%. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of brush over some of these letters individually. And it's gonna make it look as though there's just a lot more natural variation. All right. There we go. And this is just a layer mask. So if you go too much with the black and you want some more to be visible, just go back and paint with white and it's going to make that area visible. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of scribble around. The key here is randomness. You wanna make it look like it is really random because straight out of Photoshop, it's just gonna to be too crisp. It's gonna look like it's not handwritten. It's not gonna look real. All right, so let's look what this layer mask does. This is the before with the layer mask. You can see it's all the exact same light and dark. It's very, very, well, it's Photoshop-y. And then here's the after with the layer mask on it. It looks a lot more like text. And if you wanna see what my layer like, mask looks like, I'm gonna hold the Alt or the Option key and click on my layer mask. So you can see I really did just scribble black and white over there. There's, 
<laughs> this is not artistic, guys. This is totally just like, let's make this look random and uh, let's make some of this text visible and not visible. All right, so here is our after. And that's all there is to creating handwritten text in Photoshop. Let's take a look at the before and the after. Here's our before, blank page, nothing on it, just open book. And then here is our after with our uh, wonderful tale of learning Photoshop. Very, very cool. So as you can see, it's really easy to create handwritten text in Photoshop and make it look real. To start off, we talked about the kind of photo that would be appropriate for creating handwritten text. And then we went to our website, dafont.com, and pulled up a font in the handwritten category. We chose our font and loaded it into Photoshop. Next, we showed you how to create a text box, restricting the size of the text so it would actually wrap around to the next line. We rasterized the text by merging two layers together, and then we warped it into place, even making the curve appear in the final text. And to finish it off, we added a little bit of blur to the text to make it fit into the photo, and then a layer mask to add some variability in the lightness and the darkness of the text itself. Thanks so much for watching Flurn, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you want to learn more Photoshop and photography, just click that subscribe button on your screen. We publish new episodes every single week. And if you're interested in having your own idea turned into an episode, just leave a comment right down below. Say, hey, I think it would be really cool to show how to make a person have three eyes or whatever it is. Chances are we can do it in Photoshop. So leave us a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again, guys, and I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Uh, three eyes. <laughs> That's some nice handwriting. I think I'm in love. Today I learned Photoshop from Flurn.com. Nice. It brought about feelings I have never felt before. It was like warmth. I don't know how to spell warmth. <laughs> warmth. It was like warmth. I don't know what that means. I just tried to make something uh, really stupid and I think I accomplished that. An idea for an episode like, hey, why don't you show us how to grow your beard to a point? <laughs> that's that's gonna get a lot of hits.